Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, thanks, Joe. Still some showers showing up right now on live Pinpoint Doppler 12, and despite the fact that it's been a damp start, most of your day should end up rain-free. Let's talk about what I'm tracking, and uh, for this afternoon, we will start to tap into that slightly milder air, so we're talking about breezy conditions, but the temperature is getting into the uh, 50s by later on today. In terms of Veterans Day, um, we'll see actually a pretty nice day. It's going to be partly cloudy and dry, so um, all of those outdoor events should be just fine. And just the latest on Typhoon Haiyan, just a terrible storm. More and more reports continue to come out of the devastation. Right now, the recent wind reported at 100 miles an hour. Obviously, that's still a strong storm, but nowhere near the strength that the storm was earlier. And it is uh, headed to Vietnam, where they could be seeing 12 inches of rain through tonight into tomorrow. So not completely done with the storm just yet. All right, as we take a look back at live pinpoint Doppler 12, you'll notice some scattered showers pushing in right now. You can see a mess of showers here moving in from Connecticut over the Rhode Island border. But notice how things are starting to become a bit more scattered. Earlier this morning, this was really filled in with the green. That is starting to break up now. And as we look at our temperatures just all over the place, we have low 40s in northern Rhode Island. How about mid 50s right now? across the South Shore with 53 Westerly, 54 Ninegrit, and Newport at 53 degrees. Outside we go on our city cam and you can see some of these damp roads. So just uh, take it a little slow if you happen to be out early this morning. And 45 right now is our report from Emerald Bay Retirement Living in Cumberland. So our satellite picture, picture kind of shows two pieces to the storm and you can see that satellite picture was not too excited to make itself unknown on our show. So we move on here to the forecast for this afternoon. That's okay. This is a simpler way to describe it anyway. After some morning showers this afternoon is mostly rain free. We'll start to see some clouds increase um, by the middle of the afternoon and the chance of some showers moving in after three, four, even five o'clock. But again, a lot of our afternoon and a lot of the, the late morning is rain free with temperatures in the 50s and some pretty breezy conditions. There's our satellite picture. And as I was just mentioning, there is round one, the morning showers pushing out over the next several hours. We have a gap right in here and then the front swings on through later on this afternoon and this evening, bringing in that second round of potential showers, but certainly not a washout at any point today. As we uh, Take you through hour by hour. Notice we go through the noon hour. Should be rain free at this point. And then after uh, three or four o'clock, notice a few of these green patches starting to fill in at around five o'clock. The chance of a few showers, but not raining for everybody. And then tonight things start to clear out and we bring in a nice Monday on the way for Veterans Day. Temperatures today making the low to mid 50s. In fact, some spots up the south coast already in the low to mid 50s right now. So our afternoon temperatures at the south shore similar to what they are right now. In fact, our high temperatures may be realized now or over the next several hours. 54 in Hope Valley. Yeah, that wind will get going, especially by late morning through the afternoon. 10 to 20 miles an hour. Could see some gusts of around 30. 52 for Burville, 52 Foster, and 52 in Situate today. And for eastern Massachusetts, temperatures also in the 50s. Fall River at 55, Little Compton 55 degrees. There is our seven day future cast. And it's a nice day for Veterans Day 50, partly sunny. And on Tuesday, we'll see the chance of some rain showers, perhaps even a few snow showers and some gusty winds moving through as a front pushes through southern New England. Not looking at any significant accumulations, but definitely the potential of a little snow flying will be there. Then we'll be on the back side of that front for Wednesday, high of only 40 degrees. And you can see those overnight temperatures going back into the 20s. But then we warm back up again, Steve. By next weekend, it looks like temperatures once again into the mid 50s. So sort of a roller coaster ride with our temperatures. And Steve Nielsen, I know that you love roller coasters. I do love roller coasters. I hate this though for my clothing purposes. I never know no. if I need the thin jacket, the no. windbreaker, or if I need that heavy coat. I just feel like my car is just filled with 10 different types of coats. Well, that's why you can always text me to get some advice on what to wear for the weather. And, and I do that for free because I'm a nice Boy, guy. Boy, that's dangerous right there. Yes, Pete. You're going to start getting filled up with text messages. <laughs> yes, I thought, I am. Yeah. That was not a smart thing to say. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Yep. We are covering New England now. Beer 